Hi guys, I'm Jordan. And I'm Rhiannon. Welcome back to our channel. We have had a lot of requests to do a tour of Big Booty Judy where we live. Today's the day. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be going through um, some of the necessary things that we needed to have two separate living spaces and then just some of our day-to-day necessities. Come inside! <laughs> Welcome to Big Booty Judy. This is our dining area, our living room, our guest room, and our office. Everything in the RV has multiple functions um, because it is a small space and we make the most of it. So here we have some storage, it's our pantry, some kitchen items, um, and then these two are actually for my belongings. And we keep everything organized in our clear totes so we can see what we need and what we have. There's also some extra storage under the seats here that houses our extra blankets, air mattress, and any other things that don't fit in the other parts. This is our favorite part of the RV. This is our control board. We keep all of our plans, our calendar keeps us organized, keeps us up to date on um, campsites we need to book. Um, we have our summer goals up there in the corner, our calendar. Right now we have it uh, planned out through the end of October. Uh, this was one of our best buys uh, off of Amazon. The link will be in the description box below if you are interested. It's just a whiteboard sticker. When the slide out comes in, there's not very much room in between this wall and the slide. So we needed something really thin that uh, we could keep going all year long. One of our main goals on this RV trip across the US is to visit as many national parks as we can. We picked up this packet of postcards that have pictures of each uh, national park. So every time we visit one, we add one and they've become our wallpaper. This is Sven. Sven, say hello. This is my little Sphinx buddy. He's a little aggravated right now. He just snuck outside, so had to go get him. But he is our resident gremlin and he is loving the adventure life, as you can tell. <laughs> One of the most important things to us when looking for the RV was that we have two separate living spaces. As two friends living together in a very small space, we needed to make sure that we had some privacy and separation um, when needed. So this is my area, this is my bed here. Rhiannon's bed is at the other end of the RV. And then the bathroom is conveniently located right between us. The RV actually came with padded cushions similar to these as the mattress on this bed. So after a few sleepless nights, uh, we opted to get rid of those. We kind of improvised with a piece of wood because there's this opening here. So we're going to be decorating that soon and then just got an eight inch memory foam mattress from uh, Walmart to make it a very comfortable night's sleep for me. Um, for privacy, we have these curtains that close over give me kind of my own bedroom. So it's really nice um, to just close those off and just have my own space. We also have a TV here that can pull out. We are able to see it from the dining room table. I can see it up in my bed and Rhiannon can see it in her bed. So when we're um, after a long day of hiking, just pop on a little Netflix and, and relax. Another modification we made was the RV originally had a big cushiony chair here. Um, we needed some more storage for my shoes and some of my things since there's no closet. So we pulled that out and uh, we ended up buying this rack, which is not the sturdiest. So we're looking for a solution for that. If you have any suggestions, let us know in the comments. Um, the other thing we did was the typical way to get up and down from this bed is to step using the dinette set. Um, but I opted to get just a simple step ladder that I'm able to just keep set up when we're parked 
and um, it's easy access up and down, especially uh, in the middle of the night if you have to go to the bathroom. My additional clothes storage is kind of a work in progress right now. We have two bins. Um, again, there's no closet, so when we're parked, this is my closet area. When we uh, get back on the road, I just pop those bins up there and we're ready to go. So coming from the west wing to the east wing down the long corridor, we're going to pass by the kitchen, but we'll come back to that. <laughs> this is my bedroom. One of the great things is that I have a little divider. Bye bye. So this is where it's a little spin and I snuggle, really get down, super comfy. Um, one of the things that I was having problems with when I was moving all of my clothes and stuff in here is shoe storage. Where am I gonna put my shoes? So I cut an old shoe rack that hangs, usually these are double wide. Just cut it in half and that gives me more than enough space for all of my shoes. Um, other than that, standard bedroom, in the closet, I have some hanging storage. All my clothes are up here. Sven wanted to show you the mixed tiles. Definitely wanted to make this place feel a little bit more homey. So I ordered these. Actually, I already had ordered these from uh, Mixed Tiles, which I really love. They're super easy. You just stick them on. You can get any of your photos that you want and um, basically just made it feel really like my own space. One thing I definitely wanted to mention is this book. As you know, we're headed to all of the national parks in the US and traveling around. This book, Your Guide to the National Parks by Michael Joseph Oswald has been such a great resource for us. Um, anything from if there's RV camping in the park to which trails we wanna take once we get in there, definitely recommend this book. I'm gonna put a link in the description box below, but if you're going to a national park at all, it's a must have, just so much good information here. Leaving my room, we're headed back out into the hallway. This is control center number two. We can check all the levels in the RV, make sure we're set there. This is where you turn on the generator, push out the slide, AC. This actually was added after the fact. Um, wanted to make sure to regulate the temperatures when we're in colder situations or even making sure that it's um, cold enough for us and spend in here in the extreme heat. It's very hot in Utah today, so we're definitely thankful for the AC. And this is a bathroom. One of the things we definitely had to have in a bathroom was that it could be closed off. It wasn't in somebody's bedroom, you know, just completely separate. Um, really, really great space in here. Actually, this shower is a lot bigger than um, most of the other RVs that we were looking at. We have tons of great storage in here. And all of our makeup and daily necessity things. One of the unique things about living in such a small space with a cat is um, where's he gonna go to the bathroom? Litter box couldn't do it. So he actually uses the toilet. We keep the lid up constantly just so he can always have access to that if he needs it, which also means that this door is always open as well, unless either one of us are in here doing private things. <laughs> Um, as far as the kitchen is concerned, that's one of the questions that people ask all the time. What is it a normal kitchen? Do you have an oven? Can you bake? Do you have a refrigerator? This is a full kitchen. It's much smaller than most, but it has everything that your normal kitchen would have. Sink, oven, you have a stove, set that backwards, <laughs> microwave. Um, we have a refrigerator. We have tons of healthy foods in here, um, as always wine you know have to have that and life necessities life necessities the freezer simple anything we want to freeze some of the kitchen appliances and pots and pans are up here up here we do have coffee 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 and more coffee um all the spices and things and some other foods some we do store over there but that's pretty much all the dry storage space we need for our food we have you know, utensils, standard kitchen, just a little bit smaller. One of my favorite things that I do use is this grill. It is um, an awesome water bottle. It has a filter down here. So while I'm out hiking in any of the national parks and if I run out of water, I can just refill this, filter it, 
fresh water, there you go. So um, also helps to not be using the 10 million plastic bottles that we were using, um, just buying the little reusable or just the little plastic bottles. We were always buying those and just like, we can't do that. This is such a waste. So if you're looking for a solution to that, link in the description box below. This thing is awesome. That pretty much sums up what's inside Big Booty Judy. We'll show you a little bit on the outside. So this is our patio. We definitely have a lot of space outside, which we really love sitting outside. It extends the living space and um, the awning provides nice shade for us. I'm gonna show you the basement. <laughs> so under here is where we keep just most of the things that we use while we're camping. In fact, um, we are going to swim today. So I'm gonna pull out our little float. Um, and then we're gonna get going. Um, basic, just anything that we don't want inside goes in the basement. You know how it works. Let's grab those floats and go we're to the water. <laughs> okay. We made our way to Quail Creek State Park. It's just a short drive from where we parked Big Booty Judy. It was so hot today, we definitely had to get in this beautiful water. So it's $15 to get in and you just park and there's quite a bit of shoreline. Everybody's out on their boat. We're here with our floaties. We don't have a boat. <laughs> Do you but want to take us out on your boat? Let us know. <laughs> we're waiting. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just going to enjoy the sunshine and the cool water. And little oasis out in the middle of the desert yeah thank you so much for watching this video if you think that maybe you and your friend could live in an RV like we're doing please let us know in the comments below we'd like to connect with you and until then stay curious cheers, cheers. that is the second time I have broken a flip-flop <laughs> while we were making a video <laughs> not, not good luck oh boy another shoe. We are at, where are we? Quail, shit, where are we? We are at, we are at <laughs> Quail Sorry. Creek State Park. I just we, said shit. Mm, fixing my shoe, fixing my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it broke again. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Barefoot it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> we're at Prairie Creek State Park. <laughs> Is that not right? <laughs> Slightly off. <laughs> Where are we? Quail Creek State Park. <laughs> Quail, we're at Quail Creek State Park. It, we made our way to Prairie Creek State Park. Quail <laughs> Creek. <laughs> Where did Prairie come from? Prairie Creek and, and Redwood. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? We are at. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs>